In this example, we're going to look at three different ways to compare unit rates using a table, using a graph, or using an equation. These are three very common ways to see a unit rate for a particular value. In this case, we've got three vehicles. The first one is the Legend, the second one is called the Supreme, and the third is called the Lunar. And in all three of these, we're comparing the gallons of gas to the number of miles. In the table, gallons of gas, number of miles. In the graph, our title is gallons of gas versus miles, and we're comparing gallons of gas to the number of miles. And in our equation, we have the number of miles equals 17 times the number of gallons. In order to compare these three different vehicles and find out which one has the best gas mileage, that is the one that gets the greatest amount of miles for one gallon of gas, we need to find the unit rate for each one. When we have a table, we can find the unit rate by dividing one value by another for any particular ratio. Here, since we want to find miles per gallon, this is the way our division problem will be written. Miles per gallon. Okay, 72 miles, 4 gallons, 72 miles, 4 gallons, and when we do the division, we're going to find out how many miles per gallon we have. 72 miles divided by 4 gallons gives us 18 miles per gallon. This is our unit rate. When we use a table and we divide one part of our table by another, we get a unit rate. Don't forget our rate units are miles per gallon. This is our unit rate. It means for every one gallon the car gets 18 miles. That's what our 18 miles per gallon unit rate means. If we look at our graph, the points on our graph tell us something very similar to the table. If I look at this point, it says for three gallons of gas, I can go 50 miles. This would be the point 350. I can use that to find my unit rate. I'm still going to say miles divided by gallons. So 50, remember that's our miles, divided by 3. And that's going to give us our unit rate. And that gives us 16.6 .6 repeating miles per gallon. Okay, that is our unit rate for the second car. The last one here is our equation. And I like equations because the unit rate is right out there in front of us. This equation says that the number of miles I can go equals 17 times the number of gallons I have. Since my unit rate is for every one gallon, then I can just put a 1 in for the G multiply by 17 and get the number of miles. If you multiply anything by 1, it stays the same. So I know here that my unit rate is 17 miles per gallon. So all of these I can now compare. I can look at the legend and I can see that it gets 18 miles per gallon. I can look at the Supreme and it gets 16.6 .6 repeating, which is about two-thirds miles per gallon. And I can look at the Lunar and I can see that it gets 17 miles per gallon.
in comparing all three of these, I can tell that the legend gets the greatest number of miles in one gallon. The lunar is second and the supreme is third. No matter what type of way I showed my relationship, whether it's in a table, in a graph, or in an equation, I was able to find the unit rate and compare it to each other. Okay, there you go. Today in class we're going to work on a lot of examples where we have to compare graphs and equations and tables and to find out which one is the better rate or the faster rate. Remember, in each of these cases you're going to find the unit rate to compare. With a table, you just need to divide any one of the ratios. With a graph, you're going to find one point and divide to find the unit rate. With, a, with an equation, you need, just need to identify which number is the unit rate in the equation. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow.